Live from Dallas and Fort Worth, this is CBS 11 News Saturday morning. The ones for Texas. Right now on CBS 11 News at 11, the battle over gun control comes to North Texas as people rally and march on both sides of the issue in Dallas today. That as the NRA holds its annual meeting at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center. Good morning and welcome to CBS 11 News. This morning at 11, I'm Jennifer Lindgren. Happening right now, hundreds of people are rallying with students and survivors of gun violence outside Dallas City Hall. They are advocating for gun control legislation. That, as the NRA holds its annual meeting, also in downtown Dallas, just about a mile away. CBS 11's Yona Gavino joins us now live from City Hall Plaza, where that rally is underway. Good morning, Yona. What's going on? Jen, that rally is happening right now, and there's a lot of energy Don't and momentum concerned. right now. You can see that there are speakers, of and that is actually the father of Joaquin Oliver. This is one of 17 people killed in the sound that shooting. should make us His dad feel earlier painted afraid. a mural. You can see it behind him. He painted like it to the honor sound his that son. our kids Now, some of the keynote speakers include survivors so of gun nothing. violence and their families. So, the NRA the and its members say they want to send the message cool. that it's important and crucial and to, everyone here, to preserve the Second Amendment. And students say feel they're tired of school shootings and simply want their hall. voices heard. Now, we're going to join and you again in another half here. hour, but police say there is a pro gun rally coming up at noon right after this one ends. And police say it was not scheduled at the same time to prevent any clashes or conflicts between the two groups. But uh, we'll be back again with another live update and the completion of the mural. That's all coming up at 11.30. We're live outside Dallas City Hall, Yona Gavino, CBS 11 News. All right, thank you, Yona. And dozens of protesters also gathered last night outside City Hall to advocate for gun control legislation. Together, they marched to the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center. I started teaching a year before Columbine. I can't believe we're still going in, you know, after the, even after Sandy Hook, it's just incredible that we're still happy to do this. And it's time, I can't just sit around and pretend like they're not a problem. Meanwhile, a separate group of faith leaders gathered at City Hall as well to pray for an end to gun violence. President Donald Trump was the keynote speaker at the convention on Friday. The president was met with steady rain as he arrived at Dallas Love Field. He made the quick drive to downtown Dallas to address NRA members. There, President Trump issued a warning to the crowd, win the midterm elections or run the risk of losing your right to bear arms. The one thing that has always stood between the American people and the elimination of our Second Amendment rights has been conservatives in Congress. But President Trump also says there is a need for meaningful change. The parents of school shooting victims at the White House. I was inspired, like all of you were, by their incredible courage. We agree that it's not enough to simply take actions that make us feel like we're making a difference. We must ensure that we actually make a difference. The president pointed to the problem of mental health and warning signs that are often missed before mass shootings. He also told the NRA supporters that law-abiding gun owners want to keep firearms out of the hands of people who pose a danger. Friday marked the first time a sitting U.S. president and vice president both addressed the NRA's annual meeting. President Donald Trump and I both stand without apology for the Second Amendment and in this administration, the right of the people to keep and bear arms will not be infringed. Friday was a crowded day of speeches. Governor Greg Abbott and Texas Senators Ted Cruz and John Cornyn also spoke. And in just about an hour, another protest gets underway at the Below Gardens. The group called No Rifle Association will hold a rally starting at noon. Our Aaron Jones joins us now from Below Gardens. Good morning, Aaron. What can you tell us about this rally? Jennifer, right now, setup is getting started here at Belo Garden Park. About 500 people are expected to attend today's rally. And here on this stage behind me, we'll be hearing from actress Alyssa Milano, who is actually the organization's founder, as well as parents who lost their children to gun violence. Now, the goal 
to share their stand against the NRA, saying the organization has a deadly influence on American politics. Now, recently, No RA sent an open letter to NRA President Wayne LaPierre. Members outlined what they say are lies he told. One example they give, his vocal support for gun-free schools. No RA member saying he has fought against basic gun reform measures that could have prevented guns from getting into schools. Now, on top of that letter, this organization will also be sharing some of these posters. They say they'll also have a victim dedication, which will uh, feature photos of some of the family members that attendees lost to gun violence. Now, this is really the first big event that no RA has hosted. They're expected again to have about 500 people out here, and the event will start at noon. Reporting live in downtown Dallas, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. Thank you, Aaron. Expect a lot of road closures in downtown Dallas this weekend due to the NRA convention. Here's CBS 11 traffic expert Madison Sawyer to help you navigate all those changes. Well, with the NRA convention happening all weekend long at the K. Bailey Hutchison Convention Center, be aware that there's some traffic delays expected in the area. Dallas police, because of the protests that are planned in the area, have Young Street completely closed between Griffin Street and Herve Street, and then Ackard Street closed between Young Street and Canton Street. That means to get in and out of the downtown Dallas area, the best routes to use will be Lamar Street, Market Street, or even Main or Commerce Street. Those will help you get in and out of downtown with a little more ease. Now, in addition to this, parking is available in cash parking lots, pretty much located in and around the convention center, but you could also use DART to avoid the parking hazard. All together. Okay, thank you, Madison. The NRA's annual meeting continues all weekend long. Tonight, there will be a country music concert with Charlie Daniels and Travis Tritt performing at the convention center. Tomorrow morning, the 2018 National Prayer Breakfast will take place at the Omni Hotel. Seminars will continue and exhibits will remain open through Sunday afternoon. Coming up around 11:13, an NRA warning why the group is telling its members to steer clear of a Dallas restaurant. Today, by the way, is Election Day. It's actually the first of two election days this month here in Texas. The second will happen on May 22nd with a number of partisan runoff races. The polls are open until 7 tonight. Just remember, an ID is required to cast your ballot. And it is a beautiful day to get out and vote. Look at all that sunshine after all the rain we've had. So just how warm is it going to get? Meteorologist Jeffrey joins us now with that forecast. Hey, Jeff. Well, much warmer than we were yesterday. That's sort of certain, Jeff, with all the sunshine. This is a live shot. Fossil Rim Wildlife Center. It's a beautiful day at the center. We see the giraffes already out a little bit. Where are they? Sometimes they slip into the shade on these bright days. 74 degrees and calm winds. Now, we have temperatures at DFW at 75. 74 at Love Field. The dew points are not not low, but they certainly are not high. They're in the upper 50s, and that's not too bad. And this northwest wind throughout the day is going to lower those dew points even a little bit more. It was a little foggy this morning. If you were out early, we had some low visibilities, especially in the eastern half of North Texas. McKinney's visibility got down to uh, some, some close to 100 yards in some regions. So it was a thick fog in some areas, but it cleared away nicely as the sun got to horizon. Now, for the rest of the day, temperatures are going to get into the 80s by the time we get into Mid afternoon, we will have that pleasant north wind and we will pleasantly have lots of sunshine in store for us today. I'll be back with a full forecast in just a few minutes. Not much in rain to look forward to, but I'll show you what the temperatures do coming up in just a few. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Be sure to stay on top of the forecast with our CBS DFW weather app. You can also send us your pictures from wherever you are. The app is free and available on your favorite smartphone. New this morning, a bicyclist is in the hospital after being hit by a vehicle early this morning. The bicycle just in pieces there on the side of the service road off 75. Dallas police got the call around 6 a.m. near Coit and Churchill Way. Police have not said if they've caught up with the driver. Right now, we're working to get an update on the cyclist's condition. And a close call for Dallas police just after 2 this morning. As an officer made a traffic stop on Highway 67, his squad car was hit from behind by a Chevy Malibu. No one was hurt, but you can see there was some damage to the back of the squad car. Police arrested the driver of the Malibu for DWI. Coming up this morning, find out why members of the NRA are telling convention goers to avoid a Dallas restaurant this weekend. And more frightening moments for residents in Hawaii, the latest on the eruption of the Kilauea volcano. And moving on without number 82, how the Cowboys are honoring Jason Witten following his retirement. 
And as we head to break, Chopper 11 live over Dallas City Hall Plaza where gun control protests are just wrapping up. Stay with us.